Welcome to GCSE Art. My name is Mr. Randall, and I'm going to quickly run through what GCSE Art entails, uh, what you'll do on the course, and possibly where you can go with your art in the future. So, why choose art over other subjects? Art encompasses a wide variety of different jobs that you can go into and skills that you can learn from it. Um, you, the creative media itself is the, one of the biggest industries, the biggest growing industries in the UK at the moment, and is one of the biggest industries in the worldwide, and it's a big exporter for the UK as it is at the moment. And you can see from the variety of jobs here, it's pretty limitless what you can do with this uh, with this subject. And all these jobs here, pretty much all of them, start with a GCSE uh, in art of some form, and then you can take it uh, further at university, etc. Obviously, the best job in the world would be an art teacher. Of course, you might just be one of these people who just loves being creative. It doesn't have to take you anywhere. It might just be that you enjoy painting, you enjoy drawing, and that's something you want to do uh, through one of your GCSEs. So the course is set up 60% coursework, 40% exam. The coursework is set up with two different projects, the Islamic project and the snowboards project. You've probably seen these up and around school. Uh, so the Islamic project looks at patterns, uh, mendy, um, calligraphy uh, and anything to do with uh, Islamic art. Second project, you choose the theme for that project. So there's ones on the right there, you've got a Native American one and a clock one. So that's the themes. They then look at different artists to help them develop uh, their designs, which then ends up being these big uh, snowboards, which look amazing. The exam, which is 40% of your mark, is basically another project set by the exam board. So the exam board send out six or seven different starting points. You'll choose one of them starting points to do another project on. So you'll do observational drawing, look at artist development refinement, and then uh, in a set uh, time limit, you will do a final piece, which is what the three examples are there. So it's, it's not a written exam, it's a practical exam. So we do AQA, this is all the marking criteria, which is very wordy and very long-winded, and I'm sure you're not interested in, in what that is. So let's have a look at what kind of skills you can learn. Creativity, we'll teach you how to take a blank piece of paper and create something beautiful on it. Uh, and you mainly using a different uh, media and different ways of doing it. Some things don't always go to plan, and that's totally fine. Art allows for that, those creative mistakes uh, because that, that is part of the process. The time management is absolutely vital. You can't rush good art, but you do need to work to deadlines, unfortunately. If you want to be successful in anything, absolutely any subject, and particularly art, you need to persevere. Remember, good art isn't instant. It takes time. This is a great one for art, the ability to think outside the box and then take that box and make something different out of it and fold it in half and paint it and spray it and then change it to something else. Lateral thinking is thinking outside the box, taking things in different ways. And lastly, and I think one of the most important things for, for us, uh, art allows for the end product, that amazing drawing, that stunning final piece. Art will build on this and it will hopefully build confidence in you. So that's art, that's GCSE art. Two pieces of coursework, one exam. All practically based, all marked by your art teachers. Um, we mainly work in sketchbooks. Uh, and we develop observational drawing and use artists to influence the projects that we do, which all culminate in these amazing final pieces uh, that you can see here, uh, and obviously in around school as well. We are incredibly proud of the art at Abbot Bain. Uh, we've got amazing facilities, we've got incredibly supportive staff, and there is a fine tradition of art at Abbot Bain. And if you want to be part of that tradition, choose art. If you want to see more of the art that we do at, uh, at Abbot Bain in the art department for A-level and GCSE. Uh, there is uh, an Instagram account that you can follow, the, the names at the bottom there. Uh, thanks for taking the time to, uh, to listen to what we have at art. <laughs>